What's up guys, this is the Rover and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to round off where we left off, the Russians are attacking us on the open field and they are also drawing in, I presume this army down, oh, I don't know if I can actually, I thought I could see it, um, but I don't know where the reinforcement army is coming from, but they're bringing us in to battle so we shall get on the defensive, because we have the opportunities I think to extract maximum casualties. So let's fight. Ah, it's towards Kiev. Handy actually if we win, because it will mean that we get a good opportunity to crack open the forces before they get to Moscow. Which is pretty nice. Not oh, Moscow, sorry. <clears throat> um, Kiev. And it is time to crack on. Mm, okay. Okay, so it's rainy and it's foggy. But this is good-ish terrain. We've got good artillery, but so do they. They also have guard artillery. So we cannot rest on our laurels. So we can move one of you. Well, I thought I could. Spread you out. Still too many, so... My infantry lines are still too deep, so let's stretch them a little bit more. I'm okay with a bit of overlap. No, I definitely still do want you kind of like that. In which case, then these chaps can shuffle back a little bit. On the flanks, two guards, a line infantry, and a grenadier regiment here, ready to deploy out into a line. And then let's get two guards a line. Quite a nice little force actually on this side. This flank. Well actually before I get too crazy. It's not terrible. So these guys are going to trot forward before they deploy. As will these guys. So then I've got these guys and these guys deployed and ready to rock and roll. And our general's bodyguard. Good. Let's deploy. Let's advance these guys up. Spread spread out this wing a bit more. Run them as well. Unlimber my howitzers. My chasseur up yet can just hold on, I think, for now. Limber, Swiss line, Swiss Grens, Garrison Guards, Garrison Guards. These guys are both, yeah, so they do have their good guard artillery too, so some good quick climb shots would be quite handy here. And that's exactly what we got. And we forgot to deploy this flank. So let's deploy these guys first and these guys up to the house. deploy them a bit the other way to maximise well to maximise the field of fire for these chaps these three units can form square Shot the ground and guards, and let's get my artillery focusing on their infantry regiments. So for you, you can keep trying to engage their heavy horse artillery. Oop. Got them on this flank. They're not routing yet, but they will do soon. Oh yes, that'd be a lovely shot against the grenadiers. goes back into line. Don Cossack's cavalry is being chewed up. 
first infantry routing in the centre. Let's get you guys start hitting this guards unit that's deciding to pitch up a little defensive position. Get them flying in the irregulars just to make sure they actually do die. Out of square, and then let's start to actually form these guys into a better position to engage the threats that are coming into play. Send some units to go up and engage this artillery unit, too. Because that heavy horse artillery is gone. Now you guys are in a good position to plink that unit up on the hill. Now I'm actually hunker down and rely on my existing arrangements to deal with them. Nope, you stay here and get ready to form squares. So, mass routes across the board. Cuirassier guards are deciding to engage with pistols at range rather than engage my, my squares. Not a bad tactic, but when I engage, I will absolutely massacre you with my musket shots. You go for that line infantry guards regiment. You go for go for the remaining unit of guard artillery. You start arcing shots up onto that 24 pounder that's up on the ridge. Good. That heavy horse artillery is routing. They've lost all of their guns. Nope, they've lost all of them except for one. Good. So you retarget. 24 pound a foot, more cavalry is arriving on this on the flanks. Just to make sure we ensure the integrity of the square, although it will probably break down fairly quickly. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. Cavalry attack. Get this artillery unit hitting the conscripts. I know conscripts are conscripts, but still, it would be nice to help thin them out somewhat. Form a little square again. I don't know if this does any good, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if reforming squares is actually useful at all. Good, we're engaging their artillery at distance, at range. So we've destroyed. One gun has to stop. Stop our two from actually wanting to engage. There you go, we've reformed another square. There you go, the cuirassiers are going to go probably. Good, redeploy. Let's start to get my howitzers to engage the infantry units en route. Aha, another heavy horse artillery unit. So you target them. This unit targets those chaps up on the hill. Although they have no guns. Both target these guys. Enough guns in the right spots can do some real damage. Yeah, you 
target that regiment of guard grenadiers because you're in a good position to do so. You engage the fusiliers. Let's push up this flank. They sustained some casualties. And we'll need to make this fusilier unit route so we can focus fire on this guard artillery, guard engineer unit because they could cause some problems. So let's go to shrapnel and engage them with them. Comes the reinforcements in their little defilade. So missed with the shrapnel, solid hit with the shrapnel. Blunderbuss shotgun is getting in close, which could be devastating. Well, I think they would be because they're blunderbusses. Let's see how good they do. 143. 11, 10 or 11 men. Not bad. Depends how fast they reload. Is that cavalry charging in? Sure is. A couple of last minute squares. Same over here. More grenadiers. They may not charge in. They may instead be content to shoot at range. Going with the quick climb kills. So even late squares can do something useful. And amazing, these guys up here. They're weak, but they could do the job. You go on for this garrison guard unit. Get these chaps out of square. Get these guys to engage. Troops on the hill. Trap the shot. Engage that regiment of horse. Two shot and shot those those horse grenadier guards. Let's see if we get any good shots off. Good in between centers routing. Missed with the shrapnel. No, I think we've got one. So the shrapnel will do our most damage because we are picking away at them. But it's at the extreme range of a musket unit with a severely depleted uh, range behind it. Just what they're doing over here. The grenadier guards can't win. In the charge, so they're engaging with. They're engaging at range, which is fair enough because they're sticking to their strengths. My infantry unit will be enough to clear out this artillery brigade battery. Grenadiers are starting to rout. Good. Shatman shot hitting both units, causing a double rout. Perfect. They have come back, which is not surprising. Let's get to this battalion, get them to start hitting that full artillery unit. Probably advance all these guys up now. Could will be more than enough to engage that garrison, that horse guard unit. Same with these chaps. They'll win a shootout against the cavalry. 22 men remaining. Taking a, taking a real hammering. 
But it's enough. It's enough to win against the Grenadiers. Good. This fire's caused the rout. The general's been sniped off his horse by some canister shots. And they've decided to turn tail. And that, I believe, is all of the Russian forces on the field. Perfect. Heroic victory indeed. And then back towards uh, Kiev, opening the road for some of our reserve French armies to go in and kill them. Off you go. Sunny boy. The Russians might be coming in to try and retake Courland, but that's not going to, to help them very much. Swedes are en route, doing their little cheeky shenanigans, their little trade in the bay. And it's very nice of their army to actually leave their city. Yep, here come the Persians. As anticipated, the Mughals are en route. You're fairly depleted, but so are we, and you're currently alone, so I'm going to retreat you. We could have won the battle there, but I think I'd rather play it safe a little bit more. The Genoese are en route. They will need to be destroyed at some point to do some rifles, cannons, and malware. Rebellion? Oh, by you. Okay, well, this army that was going to. Okay, you take them. And then you can go up and annihilate these rebelling troops. And then my cavalry can ride down the remaining troops. Got him. Okay. So you replenish. Move up. You go in the trees. You keep replenishing. Are you replenishing? No, you are not, but you must. Okay, this could be an interesting first open field battle. Um, are you building walls? You are. Okay, so I might take these chaps, move them up to a position to reinforce when ready, and then start to recruit some East India Company troops to provide us a bit of a garrison and also some reinforcements. Okay, let's build up Malwa. Uh, you can be a governor's mansion, you can be a weaver's cottage. How's your infrastructure doing? It's looking okay. Uh, this chap is going moving up toward actually raid this university first and then go up and hit Lahore, which I'll maintain for now. Because I want to make sure I'm not getting too tunnel vision and focusing on one region, one region alone. So what I wanted was for you to go... Well, the Stuttgart, gar Stuttgart garrison is well covered. You are going to go to Strasbourg. Get ready to provide a garrison there. You and you currently have no home. So I'm going to group you together. I'm probably going to shunt you over to... One of these chaps. And this guy, his job is going to be to sit here as a deterrent for the Austrians and also to then push forward and hit Munich when that inevitably kicks off. And this guy down here, he will move down and get ready to engage in Milan. This army here will come down and be ready to engage the Spanish. And then Lisbon just needs to keep recruiting so I can engage 
so I can release some of these troops, some of these armies I've got in in Portugal. To be honest, it's tempting just to move them, move them up to here. It's out of range and not interfering with them very much, but in a position where they may wish to attack me. Let's go to abandon this fort and take out this raiding force, which is pretty small. As things stand, it could easily be And you guys replenish. Just provide another thing for them to think about. Um, new town emerges in Lexington. You continue your drive down to Fort Chartres, up in Louisiana. You continue your drive down to Lower Louisiana. I'm not really going to maul down a bunch of just Native Americans. New Orleans is ours. Replenish, and then let's not do too much investing near their borders, near where their armies are. So what trades better, cotton or tobacco? Tobacco does. So we're going to build tobacco plantations. And I may send... Can I not send anyone on to finish off this army? Unfortunately not. Malmo is blockaded, I know. Mal was being rebuilt. As will your plantations be rebuilt. Export some more of that tea. Your farms, your industrial buildings have been rebuilt. And let's hop through the production chain here. That might be quite funny, actually. For a bunch of artillery, and as soon as... Oh no, the artillery's from here, isn't it? Either way, that will be funny to watch if these guys will attempt to cross uh, here, <laughs> in front of this artillery. I doubt it, but it'd be interesting nonetheless. Lots of building in Berra, so let's make sure I don't lose that. Good, that's all being built. Tea plantation in Gujarat being built. Tataria, Jesuit College. There you go. It's in Raymond Delancey. To go take out these chaps that have just been doing nothing but raiding and a thorn in my side. And finally, these chaps can come west and hit Don Voisko. And upgrades in Moscow, and let's do a bit of replenishing. Do some upgrading in Vilnius and get ready. Well, effectively start building a wee garrison to hop inside. Because I don't think I've got any armies handily close. Although, to be honest, I'm, it is just tempting to hop out or to send... Send a splinter force under the command of a new captain. Go secure Minsk. And that should be quite interesting. A fun little battle, actually. But what I want are you guys. Because that should be a, re a reasonably capable garrison. Or maybe I want to drop you back here and take one of the foot artillery units instead because we are attacking a city with no walls. So let us... No, no, I almost get water resolve. Let us attack the city of Minsk, the Swedish capital. So they do have mortars and be aggressive and that will offset any problems that may arise from being odd to crap. Because they do have... well, they just got line infantry and militia, so I'm not that worried about... Well, I'm not worried about the, their troop quality. That... Okay, this is in great positioning, so... This artillery sit back here, get ready to pound the hell out of them. 
howitzers deploy further up. Deploy my artillery and my infantry to line. Light infantry come up on the left. My cavalry try to see if they can do some sneaky sneaks through the through the city, including Mon General. Okay, that's not ideal that they've got this annoying little Run, 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 throwing aiming for my cavalry. Because can engage the units dug in around the town hall. Let's limber up my artillery in this case then. You guys may as well get a bit of a charge bonus. Let's reorganize my line to take this into account. Bring up my guns up to here. I'm assuming it will probably be safe by the time they arrive. You weren't supposed to engage them, but engage them anyway. Bring up my lights to engage this file calm citizenry. Swedish infantry is good in the melee, so let's get some of my cavalry in the mix. Again, we're engaging their, their file of citizenry. the militia or gauge this unit no gauge the militia there we go now they're hitting the back of them you have just killed a bunch of your own dudes and it's my fault regiment étranger move them up move you guys up to do some skirmishing because we are going to have this cavalry unit come around the flank and hit into the militia no the file calm citizenry units you can keep moving pull you up back out of the way a minute so we don't get too crazy You may as well go in too. You might kill a few chasseurs on the way in. Nope, they're not one over, but that's fine. Let's sort of advance up the hill, straight down into the bores of their muskets start to engage their filth. The position is ours. To continue moving on, let's get up to the top of the crest of this hill this fence line and begin to engage and sweep 
the edge of that line and then let's also do this to also engage this garrison foot unit in their stronghold. You guys take up defensive positions on the other side of your little little uh, fence. Sounds like a lot of dead militia to me. Holding that position and fire into the mess of troops. Sounds like one of my quick line shots. Fired really short. And they formed square. Pouring fire into the garrison line. Chasseur a pied. Advance up through the through the tree line. My infantry are going through the orchard. Leave the safety of your hill. With your little little forest area. They're coming back from routing, but not for long. This is probably the best best place for my artillery, but I suspect it will not make a slight bit of difference. Let's change the round shot and start to pound this infantry of militia right at the back. Let's advance these guys up to also begin to fire onto this militia unit. Regiment Etranger engaging the 7th Regiment of Foot. Sorry, Swiss chaps, it's the end of you. Let's advance these guys up to the top of the hill. Keep my infantry line advancing. The militia routing after only 17 kills. It shows you the morale impact of uh, how it's shot. Let's so advance these guys into the town. Need all these troops to defy one provincial line infantry unit. Here. That was just to retarget. And once these guys begin to fire, once they've reloaded, that is. New garrison the farmhouse. You guys take more of a position up the slope. So then we can send more regular line infantry units to secure the dangerous positions. These guys in the garrison in the farmhouse and should be able to pick off a lot of these militia chaps. Although they are falling back. Provides us an opportunity. The light infantry running so they can engage the militia rapidly. Rapido. Let's 
let's get these guys down to some level down here. So these guys will engage through the windows, packing in the provincial militia unit. These chaps will engage with bayonets. These guys will hold fire, my artillery will hold fire. And you will also engage. Because they're routing. Good. Provide orders for these guys to keep keep skirmishing them. I can see the militia, even the militia seem pretty handy in combat. Okay, now they're losing. Excellent. I believe because they're they're routing but bugged. Perfect. Successfully, really much had an empire, but nevertheless. They don't have anything now. We've successfully knocked them out of the game with a fairly nice exchange ratio. Perfect. So let's get you replenished. Let's get the walls built. Let's get you guys replenished. Oh, let's also get... Yeah, you're recruiting lots of line infantry already. Two sets of guns and a howitzer unit and get yourself a engineer. Oh, you're still not in tip top. Yeah, you're pretty good. Lay siege to Kiev. It would draw such a mighty battle that would draw in many, many armies. But it's, it's tempting to also move these guys. Uh, I know, I'll use you for that. You come west. Because you're moving down to take Don Voisco, this guy can help clear up all these these rabble rousers. Actually, you can do that too. So if I hit you, and I hit Orta, it should you should die, you should die, and you should die. Oh, good, everyone's dead. So this guy can instead move. Oh, which way do I actually want you to go? It's probably still going to be west. Well, no. To be honest, I want two down here because I'm going to hit Dagestan and probably Georgia as well at some point. So in which case, then you, in relatively good nick, can head west and get ready to hit to Moldavia. And then you can move up and support this army laying siege to Kiev. Perfect. Let's do a bit of investment to show we're not barbarians. Perfect. Lovely. So let's hop over to the Americas. Uh, yes, this is one of my other objectives. To take this army that was attacking Cuba and get ready to secure this port. However, looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for a bit of fighting in the Americas. Alright, cheers guys.